All right, how's it going, guys? This is Reno Pones, and welcome to Reno Pones Mobile Gaming. Um, now I haven't done a Walking Dead video in a long time, but I've still been playing No Man's Land. I love this game. I've played this game every day for the last two years, and will continue to do so as long as they continue to keep it amazing. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about traits, and there's a lot of them now. They added in a new one with this last update. And people have been asking, you know, how do I know what traits to pick? Which ones go good together? So I'm here to help you guys figure this out. Let's go look at our survivors. Now, with the new reroll tokens, these guys right here. You can change the traits of heroes and survivors. So, certain characters and certain traits, certain traits don't really work well. Certain traits only work good in combos. Let's take a look at Daryl. Now, Daryl's a good hero. His stats are good. He's good. This is the one thing that I don't like about him. Defensive stance, no bueno. Increases overwatch damage resistance by 45%. Now you're thinking, oh, that's good though, right? Uh, first off, you almost never overwatch with your hunters because instead of hitting a straight line, they only hit one guy. So you almost never overwatch with them in the first place. Second place, your range characters are almost never going to be close enough to be getting hit. And if you are, that damage resistance isn't making enough of a difference because your character isn't built around that. Being able to re-roll that would give you a lot of different options. For instance, if you re-roll it and you get Sure Shot or Ruthless, it's going to make him far more offensive. But if you get something like Iron Skin, which is just general damage resistance, Iron Skin is really good. And it'll make any character extra defensive. So heroes are a special case. Up until this last update, you couldn't do anything about their traits. So there were a lot of characters that were just kind of meh. But now the heroes can be made to be really good regardless. You can kit their traits out how you want. Um, and even with your survivors, you don't have to waste hundreds and hundreds of tokens upgrading them and scrapping them. Because if you really want to, characters you put a lot of time and energy into... You can re-roll their traits you don't like. So I'm going to go break it down a little bit by class and explain why I picked what I did. Now, when you have as many character slots as I do at this point in the game, it's a good idea to try and pick up two survivors for each character class with different style traits. Just because they tend to have far more variety in their traits than the heroes do. And you have a lot more control with the traits that your survivors come out with. Now, I only have one survivor for Assault and Warrior. Because I don't really use them all that much. And I just picked up a Shooter. So, let's start with Shooter's action. My main Shooter here, Tiffany. Um, with ranged characters... If you're going for an offensive build, someone that's going to do a lot of damage and kill high-level walkers easily, these three traits are a must right here. You need Marksman, 16% more weapon damage. You need Sure Shot, attacks made on your turn have 43% greater crit chance if you have not moved. What that means is if you stand still with a character that has Sure Shot and you simply make an attack with them, you have far greater crit chance. Your crit chance caps out at 90%. You can easily build a character with Sure Shot to, and Lucky to be built around max crit chance. As you can see, I've put a lot of critical damage and critical chance badges on Tiffany. Because she's a crit chance character. And then Ruthless, that's the other offensive trait you want. Those three are known as the Holy Trio. You have Marksman, Sure Shot, and Ruthless. If you want an offensive character, you need those three traits. Ruthless, your charge attacks deal 29% total damage, which does stack and can be compounded with the Ruthless on your gear, such as your weapons or your armor. 
Her other two traits are... They didn't make her so defensive. Tiffany's got a very niche role that she fits into. She kind of sits in the back and just pokes enemies off from a distance, but she can smoke a level 23 tank in one turn if she stands still with her charge attack because of the way her traits are. She has a revenge. When an ally is attacked by an enemy in range, you get a free shot on them that deals 68% of your total damage on... Up until you get into really I high got levels. I 128 governor tokens and another 32 governor tokens off the 40 call. And I still got two re-rolls left. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You gotta show us that. What, what, what? Lucky. Lucky. Why? She got 128 and 32 governor tokens. That's 160 from a 40 call. Wow. I wish I had those right now, but... Anyways. So, yeah. Revenge is a free attack when so one of your teammates in range gets attacked. Lyric, please stop. My... Ha! Ah. Go play. I'm making video. Say hi. Come here and say hi. Hi. Say, we like killing zombies. We like killing zombies. Say, please subscribe. What is cry? That's my boy there. So, just take the hat and go. <laughs> I love that boy. Okay, so, revenge, free attack when one of your buddies gets bit or stabbed. Um, at level 23 challenge rounds, I was still killing level 23 walkers with that revenge attack that were at full health. Just for reference. And then dodge. Dodge is generally a good trade on everybody. It goes better if you have lucky. You can compound it with lucky on your weapons or dodge on your gear. But um, every once in a while it does come in handy. She'll take a, a, an attack and dodge it. So when you compare her traits to say Terra's. Now Terra's got marksman and lucky. She's also got her healing skill. Her leader skill allows your members to uh, heal with charge attacks. Now see her lucky doesn't really do anything for her. Her other traits aren't based on chance. Like see she's got defensive stance, vigilant, and marksman. So she's good for overwatching with. But her marks, and marksman's alright for that, I guess. But her marksman and lucky aren't doing that much for her. For Terra to be useful, you're gonna have to eventually re-roll two of her traits. Now, because she already has defensive stance, vigilant, and lucky, I would say change the marksman. If you change the marksman to dodge, you don't have to change the lucky because lucky will affect that. And then you just need to build her gear around the dodge. But, uh, yeah. If you rerolled marksman and got, like, iron skin, I don't know what you'd do about that lucky. You'd have to reroll it and... Hope for something good. Probably just Marksman again, really. Her leader trait is unique enough that you don't really have... Because it's a healing attack. You can kind of build Terra however you want. And most of the time that's not even so important. You're usually taking her for her leader skill. That's just a hard one to work with. I really don't know what to do about that. Now see Merle. Merle has dodge, bullet, dodge, and retaliate. So I don't know what he gets at five stars, but bullet dodge sucks. I would pretty much always re-roll that. Now see Carl and Aaron have good traits. Lucky, Marksman, and Sure Shot for Carl. Lucky, Marksman. Or Ruthless, my bad. Not Marksman, Lucky. Ruthless in Sure Shot for Aaron. So those are good. 
Now I've got this guy Tyson I'm working on. The whole thing about two different types, two different characters for each class is so that you can have two different builds. Now Tiffany's my offensive build. Tyson here, which I'll end up giving him a different name later, but I don't even know if I'm keeping him yet. I like the way he's starting to go. He's very defensive with Iron Skin Dodge and Retaliate. They just recently released Retaliate as a trait on your ranged characters. Up until this week, your ranged characters couldn't have Retaliate. Or last week. Now, on to our Hunters. Now, I know these two, my two survivors, Reno and W, are very similar. Let's start with W first. He is mm, like my scoutish hunter, I guess you would say. He doesn't overwatch, but he has sure shot and ruthless. He doesn't have marksman, but he does have iron skin revenge and dodge. So I like to keep him in the back, stand him still, and pick off targets from a distance where I can. But I'm also not afraid to rush him up to the front and confront an enemy because that dodge and iron skin is such a, a, a potent defensive combo. It actually will work and protect someone else from taking the wound and can save you a star sometimes. Reno, my prized hunter. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Anyways, um, this bad boy right here is working with dodge and iron skin as well. Like I said, potential defensive combo. I, I, I love it. It's a very good defensive combo no matter what character you're working with. Even without the lucky, the dodge goes off often enough. And when it doesn't go off, that iron skin is helping you take less damage. Anyways. So as you can see, he's got iron skin dodge. Marksman, Sure Shot, and Ruthless, that holy trio. Him being on the tankier, more defensive side with his Iron Skin and Dodge, and Tiffany having Revenge and Dodge, they complement each other so perfectly that uh, I take them with Abraham, and it's just crazy. It's really crazy some of the stuff they can do. Bruisers. Bruisers are one of my favorite classes. There's so much you can do with them. Sometimes you have a bruiser like Morgan here. Vigilant Defensive Stance Iron Skin. Very good at Overwatch. Very defensive. His uh, Defensive Charge Leader trait. 48% ch percent chance to gain a charge point when hit by an attack. That goes up with luck. Not bad. Right gear, Glenn is a little better. Iron skin strong and retaliate. He's doing a little more about it when he does get hurt, as well as taking less damage. And now that I'm looking at it, our boy Negan over here. Yeah, right there. Right about there. Our boy Negan has the exact same traits in the exact same order other than his leader skills. So that's interesting, but it's a good combo on your bruisers. As you can see, this is my newly acquired bruiser. Gathered him recently. His badges aren't shit right now, but he has flawless traits. This is what a unicorn bruiser looks like. Iron skin. Punish. You want Punish on all of your Bruisers. Pu bruisers are the only class that can acquire this trait right now. Um, that would be awesome if the other melee classes could get it too. I would love that. But for right now, it's just Bruisers. So, you want it on all of them, basically. They'll be alright without it, but they're so much better with it. If anybody, If any enemy is adjacent to you at the end of their turn... You get a free smack on him. Retaliate. So, if a tank manages to get up next to him and hit him, and he can resist the stun or dodge it, 
Well, not if you dodge it. If you dodge retaliate, doesn't go off. But if he resists the stun from a tank, there's a retaliate and a punish. Uh, a regular walker, there's a retaliate and a punish that hits him. Or armored. Strong, which is the melee version of marksman. You want strong on all your melee characters. Tax deal more weapon damage. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to use a character that doesn't have that. Unless you built them very, very, very niche. I'm talking like Iron Skin, Defensive Stance, Vigilant, Lucky, and Dodge. And that's not a character that's going to put much work in. That's a character that's going to be able to take a lot of hits so that your other two characters can actually put in one. Which, if you wanted to do that, that's fine. That's a totally viable tactic, but that's not at all my playstyle. Power Strike, the melee version of Sure Shot, but I love Power Strike so much more. Dada, where is Mama? Attacks made on your turn gain 35. Mom! Lyric, go play. I'm doing something, please. Attacks made on your turn gain 35% final damage. And have 35% better crit chance if you have not moved. So if you stand still with a melee character that has power strike, a poor walker human enemy is stupid enough to end up next to you at the start of your turn. On top of getting that free punish attack, then power strike is doing extra damage. Now sure shot only gives you extra crit chance for your ranged dudes. Power Strike giving you 35% extra damage is insane. You couple that with someone that has... You take a Scout. With Power Strike. He doesn't even have Ruthless. If he had Ruthless instead of Vigilant, this would work out so much better. Power Strike with a Charge Attack is the end all for... Anything that is standing next to you. Let me put it to you that way. Power Strike is invaluable on the distance. Getting the conditions for it to trigger is more difficult than you would think at higher level distance missions, but it can be done. Power Strike, Punish, Strong, Iron Skin, Dodge. Only thing she's missing is the Retaliate. She got Dodge in favor of it. I've had Amy for the longest. Stanley is very recent. I only picked I only promoted him to five stars just the other day. Started training him up. So those are my two bruisers. Here we have Warriors. Warriors sit somewhere in the middle of Scouts, Bruisers, and Assaults. Honestly, they're somewhere in between all three of them. My one main warrior has strong, power strike, retaliate, ruthless, and dodge. The holy trio with retaliate and dodge. I would have much rather had iron skin on him. My girlfriend has a bruise or a warrior that looks very, very similar to this. Except he does have iron skin and he's fucking perfect and I'm always jealous. Uh, the thing about warriors, as you can see on his weapon... That trait at the bottom of it, that little gold swingy, swoosh looking thing. Yeah, that's wide arc. You always want that on your warriors. It allows them to hit a much wider circle of enemies. You can get up to like five or six walkers in one attack. Makes them really, really useful. Now see, Michonne's got good traits. Iron Skin, Strong, Retaliate, Dodge, and then her leader skill. You really don't need to re-roll any of her traits. Jesus, you want to get rid of that bullet dodge. The Lucky is alright. The Lucky goes with his power strike. I would say keep the Lucky. Get rid of the bullet dodge. On to Scouts, and this is fun because uh, I have two Scouts that I call the Twins. Because their, their traits are mirrors of each other. First off is my boy Scrapper. Oi! It's a bloody little Scrapper. Vigilant. 
which is extra overwatch damage. Dodge, Power Strike, Strong, and Retaliate. So Power Strike and Strong actually goes pretty good together with him. The Vigilant helps out on the rare chance I do overwatch with him. And the Retaliate helps if he gets attacked, but this boy is a beast. Um, every scout, that little double triangle thing on his weapon, that trait is Swift Strike. You want that at gold, and you want gold lucky, and you probably want lucky on your character, because that gives you an extra free action on after you kill an enemy. But it only has a certain percent chance to. You cap that out, you get to stab more than one walker in a turn. You couple that with, uh, not him. You couple Swift Strike with this guy's leader skill. And, whoo, let the body flow. Now here's the other twin, Stabba. Defensive stance. Ruthless. Iron Skin. Retaliate Strong. They're mirrors. They both have strong and retaliate. He has ruthless defensive stance and iron skin. He Stabba is very, very tanky. Scrappa has the power strike and the dodge and the vigilant. They both have an overwatch trait that fits with their theme. Stabba is more likely to be using Ruthless than Scrap is. Scrap is far more likely to be using the Power Strike just because of how I've learned to play with him. So that works out just fine. They're, they're twins. They're mirrors of each other. On to Assaults. I only have one Assault because I always use Govna and Abraham already. I really don't ever put extra Assault characters on my team. But let's take a look at Doc because I did bump him up to Pink Star. And he is good on the distance. He does put in work. He has Marksman, Sure Shot, Ruthless, then Iron Skin and Revenge. He is the perfect blend of offensive and defensive for an Assault. Govna. Govna's traits are fucking perfect for an Assault hero. Lucky, Marksman, Sure Shot, Iron Skin. I'm so glad we don't have to waste tokens re-rolling him. Why would you want to? The only place you could go from there is downhill. His traits are perfect. <clears throat> the one thing I want to do to Abraham is get rid of that defensive stance. I would love to give Abraham sure shot. Oh my god, with sure shot, he'd be stupid ass powerful. He already is. Sure shot would just make him that much better. Rosita, I would love to re-roll that bullet dodge. I don't like her leader skill anyways, though. Those are just some examples. So, there's my video on traits. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Um, let's go run a mission real quick just to show you guys what's going down. I am playing difficulty 25. Haha. <laughs> I'll show you guys an example of a couple of my different teams. Here's my main range team. These guys. Put in so much work on challenge rounds. This team right here. These are the ones to do it. These are the ones to do it right here. Boys. Boys are back in town. Alright. There you go. See? His sure shot didn't trigger. But hers did, and she had no problem finishing that boy off. These are level 24 walkers, so yes, I am playing this very safe. Now watch the difference now that Governor sure shot goes off. Send it pas possible! Okay, well, that was interesting. <laughs> what? 
didn't go according to plan. Oh, but Reno takes him out without sure shot triggering. There you go. She did the wrong thing. See, she dodged it. Ah! I told you guys when that dodge takes effect, it's so useful. That was the difference between two and three stars right now. Ugh. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. In fact, it's going to kill you. Now I'm going to go send Reno over with Govna because Govna obviously can't keep himself safe at this difficulty. I'm going to run Tiffany. Let's put Govna over here. Let's put Reno over here. Let's have Tiffany get these two. Whoa. I, I, you guys saw that, right? She just crit on that level 24 walker. For 15,000 damage? Whoa. That was insane. Now that they don't have ad videos at the end of challenge missions, I actually want to start making more challenge mission videos. Oh, I got nothing out of there. I'll pay the gold. I'm at like level 25. It's so worth it right now. See, four star piece. Aha, <laughs> and a phone. So that's how you beat level 25 round with three stars. I'll show you guys an example of a melee team doing some good work too. And this will be the last mission I do. This through the wire one is fun with a melee team. I'm going to take Jesus. Oh, wait. Kill walkers with a warrior. Yeah, I'm going to take Jesus. I'm going to take the law. And I'm sure some of you guys are doubting Scrappa's ability. Like, wait, what is Chates are kind of mix matched? I thought so too at first, but watch this boy do some damage. By the way, if you're watching the video, I appreciate it. I thank you. Please, it would mean a lot to me. Take the time. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Share the video. Tell your friends about it. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. What you would like to see. Um, especially if you like the Walking Dead videos. I would love to start making more of these. I'm probably going to anyways, but... It would be awesome to have content people want to see. Oh, so see this one? This one's tough right here. I'm going to have Jesus hit his power strike on this guy. I'm going to have the law come hit this circle. And then I'm going to have Scrappa come finish him off. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. That's not good.
This is really bad. Oh, he killed him! <laughs> Oh my god, they killed the law. It was pretty funny. They babe, they gave the zombies a a kill cam on the law. I'll, I'll show you. I'll I'll play it back when I'm done and show you. They gave the zombies a kill cam on him. I like zombie darts. Oh my goodness, that was great. Okay, so that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Let's try that again with a bruiser. You can't steal me an adult that's going to be there, right? As far as I know. Let's try that one more time. Let's see if my girl Amy can put in more work than the law did. That was funny. <laughs> He got cold smoked by some walkers. <laughs> I guess at five levels up on my characters, I shouldn't have expected much else, but... Now watch Scrappa get this power strike off. I mean, I'm willing to bet that I can at least pass this one with two stars right now. Oh, see, and now I'm gonna let Scrappa overwatch because that vigilant damage. Hey, Dad, I like zombie darts. Yes, just hold on, Bubba. Daddy's still making video. I thought you like the zombie gun. My zombie gun! Dad, my zombie gun! Yes, Lyric. Dada. Here we go. Dada, my zombie gun. I lost it. See, I at least got two stars on that one, but that was with a melee team. That's with characters who have to get next to an enemy to harm them. I honestly would recommend a ranged team for that mission. Don't do what I did. Ooh, glad I used the unlock. And eh, it's the last of my gas. I'll do one more mission before I cut out. I'm gonna take Riot Gear Glenn. I'm gonna swap out equipment on him. This is a very viable tactic, guys. Swapping out gear is always a good tactic because it allows you to make the most of your characters. For the longest, I would just scrap anything, any weapon I picked up that I wasn't planning on upgrading and keeping. I'd just scrap it for the silver right away. It's better to keep some low-level equipment around so you can swap your gear out. Let's 
Overwatch. So obviously that didn't work. I can say I tried. I think. Let's go save Scrappa first off. This is why it's always a good idea to get some stun resistance on your gear. Her being able to move after attacking is the tactical trait on her Zweihander. Wow, that sucked. Uh, but at the same time, if you think about it, I went in there with a four-star character. And a melee team. And one of those characters had essentially no badges, so... Alright, that's it for my video. You got to see some of the traits in action. I got to explain them to you. I hope I did a good run through. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. This has been Reno Pones Mobile Gaming. Peace.